up first with flying ace aerial trace. Now, personally for me, I don't really like this ride. It's slow, which I get. It's bumpy, which is the bumpiness is unbearable. It has very slow capacity and it's not intense. And I get that reason because you know it's a family coaster, but I really think it could be a tiny bit more intense since it's for I forget what it was, but 46 to 48 inch. Here I have the Great Pumpkin Coaster. Now, please don't click off the video just because I said that. It's a fun, family, enjoyable ride. And that's really all I have to say about it. It's fun for the family. In 11th place, I have Woodstock Express. It's a fun, enjoyable ride for the family. Also for young, but not too terribly young, thrill seekers that are eager to ride roller coasters. I seriously recommend this for families who are visiting and any young people out there watching. Now, I don't know what to say about Vertigo. In Vertigo. It's just horrible. It's just horrible. It's rough. It hurts after you ride it. It's just horrible. And number 10, we have Adventure Express. It's just an amazing ride with awesome theming. It is a family ride, so it's not that intense, but that ending part with all those, I don't know what they're called, is just amazing. 6 out of 10, in my opinion. At number 9, I have Backlot Stunt Coaster. Now, there's no hate or anything to this ride, but that launch isn't that powerful. Sure, it's surprising for a family ride. I honestly think the launch could have been a bit more powerful, but another thing good about a good thing about this ride is the theming. It's crazy. Next up I have the Racer. This is a very good classic family ride, which is just amazing. Sure there's not there's bumps everywhere, but I personally don't mind that much. It's an awesome ride for kids and families. I seriously recommend this ride for new new newbies at roller coaster. Next up I have the bat. It's an amazing roller coaster. Swooping through the wood like that is just amazing. The experience for this is insane. There's incredible like near misses everywhere. Like, especially that one where you're passing by the old cue path of the bat. That one is by far one of the best moments. The drop is amazing. And, as I said, the near misses are crazy. Though the break run could be better. I remember always being. At number six, I have Flight of Fear. I've only been this one, so I haven't had a great opportunity, great opportunities to judge it. But by my experience, it could be better. Though the good thing is, you're always upside down. It feels like you're going through the dark, and you have nowhere where you're going. Now we're going into the top five. At number five, I have the beast. I it's oh, a really good ride. Yes, I would say I'm working fun. through this to get the video out and for you. Guys. It's just overall a really, really good ride. But my opinion, they could have made it more intense. But for the 50th anniversary, it got a lot smoother. Thank you, Kings Island Maintenance Team. At number four, I have Banshee. It's an incredible BNM inverted coaster with six or seven inversions. And it runs through the track flawlessly, and it has a beautiful color scheme. Great job, Kings Island. Now time for the top three. At number three, I have Diamondback. It is a great airtime machine with incredible elements. Airtime sells mostly. It is just an overall incredible ride. This is a bless the Lord or Diamondback. Number two, I have Mystic Timbers. This is also an incredible woody. Has airtime around every corner. 
just an overall incredibly enjoying ride. Um, that tunnel um, is pretty fun to go through. Airtime everywhere. Whipping through the woods over another ride called Whitewater Canyon. Overall, a great experience. Now, at number one, I have Orion. It is just a great speed monster. It's a gigantic giga, even though many people say it's not a giga. It is a giga. It has a 300 foot drop. And, um, it's just a great ride. Lots of airtime. Lots of G's on that helix. Love that helix. Overall, an amazing ride. Thank you, Kings Island, for finally, for our forever waiting giga. Thank you for watching. Um, please remember to like, subscribe, like and subscribe and remember i'll see you next time